Hi guys, today we're making some hot process uh, Mexican fried ice cream scented soap. I started off making these melt and pour heart shaped uh, goat's milk embeds just to place on top. Um, I get the, the goat's milk uh, soap from VA Candle Supply and I think I got these off eBay and they're selling four pounds of it for like $16. So anyway, stay tuned. This is my recipe that I use. Um, you can go on soapcalc.net and um, program whatever you, you want into yours. So I'm going to start off with my lye water, uh, mixing it into my already melted oils in my crock pot. All the oils you saw in that recipe. Oh, there's my sunglasses. You want to protect your eyes uh, and skin because lye is very caustic. It's very basic and can burn your skin, very corrosive. Uh, you're supposed to be wearing gloves, but I didn't have any, so I was just pretty careful. So um, add your lye water into your oils and mix with a stick blender. If you don't have a stick blender, you're going to be mixing for a long time. So purchase a stick blender, about 12 bucks, save you a lot of time. So uh, we'll blend that up until it gets to a thin trace. And what that means is you'll see start to see lines in your mixture after mixing. So it's going to be really liquidy at first, but then turn pretty thick. See how thick this is getting? It's not thick enough for me, though. I want it to look kind of like a, a pudding. So just a, just a few more minutes. Mix it up, and uh, the heat will activate it and, and speed it along. So see, look, this is starting to get kind of where I want it. See, that's nice. So I think I'm almost done mixing at this point. But yeah, it looks just like pudding. Don't eat it. <laughs> it's not good for you. <laughs> so anyways, um, we'll mix this up and then after it's it's done with trace, see I'm done, I'm pulling that out. I'm gonna put the lid on and simmer it on low. Okay, so right now I'm just getting all my other little stuff set up. Um, I'm going to use some red lab colorant for specifically for soap. Um, I'm just going to set that up and have it handy because once your uh, soap is, is has gelled, you're going to have to work pretty quick because when it cools down, it's going to harden. So I'm, I'm also going to use a little bit of red cosmetic glitter just to put on top. Uh, I've got some, my essential, no, that's fragrance oil, excuse me, Mexican fried ice cream fragrance oil. And I ordered from fragrancebuddy.com. They are the best, have the best prices and scents. <laughs> um, my other colorant, a brown iron oxide, uh, going to use that for the base part of the soap. Got some titanium dioxide I'm going to use for the frosting part of the soap just to make it white. Uh, those are the embeds that I made earlier, so I've just got those in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to put them on top. Got two crock pots going because I'm going to separate out the icing part into this other crock pot just so I can color it a different color than the original. I'm also going to add a little bit of water so I can do some piping. Okay, now I'm just back checking on my soap. I'm going to lift up the lid. Okay, so you see this bubbly looking stuff around the edges? We don't want to stir that quite yet. So it's, you're going to be tempted to stir it, but don't do it. It's, it hasn't gelled in the middle yet. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to get my piping gear ready because I'm going to, I'm planning on piping my frosting part. Of course it's soap, it's not frosting, but I want it to look like frosting. So I'm going to use a, uh, a circular, I don't even know what that thing's called. A circular tip on it. Okay, so this is what we call the gel phase. It looks pretty translucent, kind of like Vaseline, kind of mixed between Vaseline and mashed potatoes. So I'm just stirring it to make sure it's all dissolved and saponified. The lies combined with all the oils. I'm gonna do a, a zap test, which is you take a little piece and <laughs> you um, you get you get really brave and uh, you put it on your tongue. 
And if it zaps you like a battery, then that means it's not ready. But if it tastes like soap, then that means it's ready. And it did not zap me. Yay! So I'm just looking, trying to see what my temperature is. Um, I want it around um, 180 to 190. Just because of the fragrances that I'm using, have a flash point of 200. And um, I don't want my smells to go away. That's the whole reason for me making the soap is I want to have some good smelling stuff. So I want my temperature down so I can add my fragrance oil. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize now because I got, in a, I got in a hurry at the end. And I could not get anyone to film me piping and putting my colors in. So um, I'm just going to post pictures. Sorry. Next time. Next time I'll get someone to film me. Okay, so through the magic of video editing, I've started cutting my soap. I uh, just used this little hand cutter. One day maybe I'd, I'd like to get a fancy cutter, but for now this is what I got. I just eyeball it, and they are coming out good. And it smells really good. I used the uh, Mexican fried ice cream fragrance from Fragrance Buddy. I think I told you guys that. They look like little sundaes. And most of the bars are almost six ounces. So I got 11 bars. Pretty awesome. No, oh, they look so pretty. So anyways, thanks for watching this and join me next time.